Hey everyone, today we have another pressure washer tool accessory. Today we're actually looking at the 18 foot telescoping pull brush. Let's get started. All right guys, again, today we are taking a look at this 18 foot telescoping Ryobi power washer accessory with the brush and uh, shoulder strap attachment, I believe is what, what's included, but it says it's 15% lighter. Um, it includes the washing brush, which is pretty cool. Has, uh, accepts multiple different attachments. So if you have some other attachment that you want to put on it and is compatible with the quarter inch quick connect, which obviously we want. Uh, if we look around here on the back, again, this is for use for pressure washers up to 4,200 PSI, uh, 18 foot reach, 15% lighter again, and uh, fits most brands. So really nice there. It collapses, so again, it can extend uh, 16.5 feet. So it gives you that 18 foot reach is I guess what they're saying with the 16 uh, foot. Collapses down to five foot, so it's fairly compact. You can see it's, it's pretty compact there. The brush width is 10 inches and it weighs in at 9.5 pounds. So it's a little bit heavier, uh, obviously again, with that telescoping um, and especially on, on length, we'll see how that, how that does. But let's go ahead and just open this one up here. This box was actually a little damaged at the store. So um, we'll make sure we've got all the pieces here. Here is the shoulder strap, which would be nice. So you can put it kind of around your shoulder and, and hold on to it so it's not so, so bad there. Um, all the pieces looks like come individual. So we've got our telescoping pieces here. Let's see, we'll just slowly start taking these out. Let's see, there is uh, one of our quick connect nozzles and the brush here, the brush attachment. We've got some pieces again, not really sure if we've got everything here. So we're going to have to kind of go through and take a look, but let's go ahead and just get everything out. We'll get everything out here and then just show you. I think that's Not sure what that clip goes to, but that looks important. Um, this is this is beefy. That is a a beefy handle there. Um, there's our our quick release for that section. So we'll go ahead and just grab the next section. I would guess it's this one, but I could be wrong. Let's see this one. There we go. Yeah, that's better. So it does have a stop. So it says, do not extend past this point. Um, so that's kind of nice. Just shows you where the where to stop when you see that red stop there. But we're gonna go ahead and collapse it. Let's get this whole thing. Oh, there we go. So these are labeled. The class have A, B, C. I assume there's D and E here. Yep, D, E. So we'll go ahead and just throw these and like that, ouch. Lock, 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 lock there. And then, oh, okay, we gotta feed the hose through it looks like. So here's our hose. Yep, the hose goes down the middle. All right, let's see how we, so I've got a couple little pieces, I am, Getting a little concerned, not knowing what those are for. But let's send this hose down, down like this. There, it's at the bottom. Okay. Well, there we go. So we got the hose coming out here. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and just take a peek at the old operator's manual to make sure we're putting this together right. Okay, good. So this little pin here that we potentially lost, this helps lock it in. So we gotta go into there and then use this pin to lock that. Sheesh. I don't know how far that's supposed to go in, but don't advise this, but we're just gonna give this a little, little tap. Okay, okay, so that did work. So I did have to give that a little tap to get that to go all the way through. Um, but now that's it's locked on there. And then this one goes on like so, like that, okay. Very good. I'm sure this is my belt clip or my, my shoulder clip or restraint there. All right, so. Again, not everything was included, so I'm just kind of making this up as we go here a little bit. Oh, and I did that right. So there's this little collar piece that goes there. This turns around the inside. That way you can give it a good twist. And that way your buckle can buckle onto that, like that, and swivel around. Pretty cool, we'll feed this down a little bit more. So we gotta feed this through so we can get, and get this up here, get the final piece in. It's a two person job here. There we go. Okay. And there's the last lock. Okay, so all those are in. Some of these feel a little loose. Might need to tighten some of those up, but there it is with all the locks. Looks pretty, pretty schnazzy there. So it doesn't have, it doesn't come with the attachment for the, the sprayer. So you got to put on one of your nozzles. And then this, again, I don't know how you're going to get that brush on there. So let's see what they say to do. This is supposed to come out and over. There we go, ha ha. That's what we're after. All right, so now, now we got that over the top. Now we can put the brush on. Like there we go. Okay. So depending on where we want that, if we want to be able to spray and brush, then we just tighten that down like that, okay. So there it is. We're gonna go out and try it out. Pretty simple here. Again, you just got your, your quick connects. These all release, you put on a little, or the, these, these are all your latches. And then you have your quick connect for your sprayer. And then on this side, we have all this excess hose that will get pushed out once we're ready. Um, not, not too complicated here. Um, you've got a lock and unlock. So you can lock it from spraying. It doesn't, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't allow you to lock it on. So you do have to pull the, the trigger the entire time. And it is, it's a hefty pull. Again, this whole setup here is very, very girthy. A lot of, um, I mean, I've, I've got fairly big hands and, and this is, it's big. It's got some, some weight to it. Again, this is almost 10 pounds, you know, and you're balancing this on a, you know, up to 18 feet. So really cool, excited to try it out. Again, it's got the shoulder strap. That's gonna make it a life a lot easier. We can release that, throw this up and over. Um, see, we're gonna have to release some of this length. There we go. And uh, something like that. So you can put some, a lot of levers. That actually, that actually makes it a, a lot better. You can really kind of 
use your body as the anchor to move this around, tighten that down, and really, really get up there. So let's go outside and give this a try. One thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Um, and unfortunately you can't see how dirty it is up there, probably from, from the angle, just cause the sun and thing, but it just gets, just gets gross along the eave and that's where I wanna clean. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the pressure washer as it is now. You can see the difference already. I mean, this is, this is my length and just with this halfway, not even extended, it's got uh, a ton of length. So I'll use it like this real quick, show you how, I can, how far I can reach and then we'll try this out. So here we go. So as you can see, I can barely, barely reach. So what we're gonna do is turn this off because again, we have to connect that now. We're gonna switch this out completely. So we'll show you how that works. First thing we have to do is turn off the water. Okay, water's turned off, release the pressure. So getting rid of any pressure in the hose here. So, and one thing we could do is add a quick connect to this. It comes with this uh, option to put on a quick connect, but if we just undo this one that it comes with, take that off. So we didn't need to put that on. And then we slide this on like so. Now, one thing we do need is a uh, connector. So we got to take off the quick connect on this. So we got our little piece here and we're going to put it in like that. There we go. So we've got our degree, our angle there. Okay. So we don't need our handle. Now we'll go ahead and turn the water back on. We'll get our shoulder strap put on here. Get that to a good good height. Okay, we're going to rotate this probably back a little bit. So we're going to tighten that and then we're going to extend. I like to extend the lower parts first. Okay. So letting the pressure run through. There it is. So we've got pressure. Not sure how I feel about that. Let's get this off. Let's extend this just a little bit more. Okay, well, it's a little awkward. <laughs> okay, push the button. Awesome. I mean, that, that is sweet. Start over here and come back. really want to switch arms. We're going to do without that so we can switch arms. Can't see right into the sun. Oh my gosh. 
That, that works amazing. I mean, I'm, I'm thrilled. That is so cool. I mean, I shouldn't be as surprised as I am, but sorry, I am. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Got a little wasp nest up here. Let's get this one off. Okay. I mean guys, that was that was super impressive. Um, not a fan of the shoulder strap, personally. Uh, maybe I'm not using it right, but uh, as far as cleaning, wow, that was that was everything I could want and more. Okay guys, so there is the pole brush broom uh, extender. Really cool, really liked how well it cleaned the eaves. Did exactly what I would have expected on the house. Um, it was also useful with the broom to do uh, the undercarriage broom that goes underneath the car that cleans the undercarriage. Really liked that. Um, it is freaking heavy. 10 pounds, um, the shoulder strap was nice but really didn't alleviate a lot of the weight. Um, it's just awkward. It's big, especially when you get it extended, you're going up for the two story eaves and things like that. It's big, big, um, really heavy maneuvering around, trying to use the brush at the end, scrubbing things. It's heavy. That's, that's all I can say. I really liked it. Um, it is a lot to hold on to. I mean, I can't, I barely get my finger and thumb to touch as I reach around this and, and pulling this, this is a long, hard pull on the, the trigger. Um, if, if I wish it had a way to lock so you could have it locked on. But in general, I really liked how it worked. It did exactly what I wanted. Um, it's just heavy. It's just the nature of it. So something to be aware of. Again, uh, we'll try it on a few other things. Let us know what you want or what you think we should try it out on. If you like the video, make sure to hit that like, subscribe, comment below. Let us know what tools you want to see in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya. A little a little stick walker oh this little guy down here I mean he's little he's big as my friggin hand poor little guy scared him out please tell me I was recording I am test check okay you want me to do the broom thing okay I'll show you